it will absolutely amaze you. But what do you think? Shall we get started with my good friend here? Uh, so this is my close friend Prince Charles, uh, who's a butler here. So he welcomes you with a few leaflets about the exhibition. And Free J, hey Free J, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, well, uh, Charlie Chaplin is here, but it's it's more. Uh, this exhibition is about the company Amazing. So Amazing is a company. It's a company that does only Lego. So they built all sorts of Lego stuff, and they've been now active for around 20 years. So they thought it was a good idea to finally do an exhibition about all the things that they built over the years uh, and some new stuff. And <laughs> it's it's insane. It's insane. Okay, let's switch cameras. There we go. So first off here, when you come in, welcoming you to this exhibition is Prince Charles in a butler outfit. And the reasoning behind that is, well, he's a public servant. Uh, so he serves the public, so that's why they put him in a butler outfit. But it is absolutely Prince Charles. <laughs> can I call him Alfred? You can call him whatever you want. By the way, there in the background, I don't know if you can see it on the top. That's a small part already of one of the mosaics that we will be seeing. <laughs> I'm hungry, but it's 4 a.m. It's a mutual agreement between brain and stomach. You know, at 4 a.m. your stomach takes over. Your stomach just takes over. So first we come in and the first thing we have here is the red carpet. So this is the red carpet. So you come in and here we have how Dirk got started, how Amazings got started. And that was by creating busts. So busts of famous people. So first off, we have Laurel and Hardy. Yeah, so quite midnight snacks exist. Absolutely, midnight snacks are a very important part of well life in general. So we will see several famous people that he built over the year, and Laurel and Hardy, I think, are the most iconic ones because they look really cool. Look at that. If you look from a short distance, you can immediately recognize them. And spiders, welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome everybody to this exhibition tour. You can see the mustache. So cool. And look the hair, how it is done. <laughs> I call the 4 a.m. snack. Yeah, that's also a good idea, Ewot. And here we have Charlie Chaplin, of course. Again, with the typical mustache and the fat eyebrows. Oh, gorgeous. And here is one that I personally like a lot, and that is from Fred Astaire. And you have to remember, Dirk, he's also a comedian. So he does public speaking, he does comedian things. Uh, yeah, a bowler cap, indeed, Ewot. I'm a real noob if you see this, huh? What do you mean, Free J? What if you see this? I don't know what you mean. Free J, thank you for the host. Some other people hosting. Ah. <laughs> Remember, people, uh, the alerts and everything. I just, if I see it on screen, then I will try to shout you out. If I miss one, just mention it in chat and I will get to it. But so, Dirk, like I was saying, he's the owner of Amazings and he loves, he's a comedian and he loves word puns. So, it's Fred Astaire. Huh? What's in his name? Stairs. So what did he do? He made the mosaic in stair format. So it's a stair here that you can see, right? a stair. <laughs> and then from the front, you can see Fred Astaire. And of course, you can see him dancing as well. It's very well done. And we will see this several times during this exhibition that there are several word plays in there. Your new boat. Well, Free J, don't compare yourself to what you see here because for starters, everything you see here, okay, these are all built by Dirk, but we will see other things that are built by other people. So because Dirk already employs several people in his company uh, that help him building, and he has so much experience already, you cannot compare yourself to him. For starters, he does it full time. Uh, he's been doing it for more than 20 years already. Ewo, yeah, absolutely. So these busts are all by his hand. 
But this is not all. This is just the beginning, people. Really, it's <laughs> this is the, the small. This is the peanuts part. <laughs> yeah, Ewald. Uh, but he specialized in larger building, but he also does uh, smaller builds. He makes his own sets and everything. But uh, we will talk about that during the interview that we have with him later today. Um, then we will ask all the questions, also the questions that you asked Ewo and your free J. So, a peanut of a what? Eh? Oh my god, I said something that wasn't clear. Mm. I don't remember anymore! No! But anyway, let's switch cameras again because there are some other stuff to see. So yeah, we have Fred Astaire and again, also due to the perspective as you can see by playing with the different bricks, you get this beautiful picture. And then here, oh, I always forget his name. He's a comedian, a magician. Oh, come on, what is his name again? Can somebody help me out here? He's a uh, quite famous uh, 80s, 90s. Uh, oh, I always forget this guy's name. Yes, it's a fez. I know, it's a fez. He always wears a fez, but, oh. Nobody knows his name. Oh man. Fezman. <laughs> I'm a Fezman. Tommy Cooper, that's it, Free J. Thanks. Yeah, exactly. Tommy Cooper, that's it. But look at it again. So well executed. So well executed. Love it. And then the next one is one of my personal favorites here. One of them. And that is John Cleese. But that's because I'm a fan of John Cleese. Uh, I love everything he did in his life. The humor, the more serious things. Uh, <laughs> Google told me. Best comedian. Yeah, Tommy Cooper is one of the better comedians. Absolutely. I wouldn't say the best. For me, that's John Cleese. But okay. Who am I? Again, you can see. And again, the 3D part that you see here. It's the layered structure. It's. Oh, I have a big problem doing that. Because I've tried some 3Ds as well. It's hard. It's really hard. Capturing the... You always, when you look at a picture, you always need to try to see a few of the more distinctive features of the person and make sure that that is in this bust. So here, for instance, you see his typical nose, his mustache, this smile that's also very typical John Cleese. So you have to capture all these things. Like for instance here with Mr. Bean, hey, Rowan Atkinson. This one is more a caricature than the actual person. <laughs> That's why 3D printer exists, we don't have to build. Oh, come on, Leo, where's the fun in that? Mr. Bean! Yes, I know! Look at him! It's him! With the large ear, the big nose, the goofy smile. <laughs> and again, so well executed. And you see, a lot of times people say, with 3D building that you only use 2x2s, 2x4s and everything. But here you can see there's a lot of plates used. And a lot of other special things. Yeah, Abraf. Uh, a lot of builders do that with 3D. That they do side to side layering. And not top to bottom. Well, there's also top to bottom as you can see with the hair. That is more top to bottom. And then at one point it transitions to side by side. That's uh, with all of them. For instance, if you look at John Cleese here, he also has that. So the really top is top to bottom. And then the side is the layer technique. Then you come to the bottom and then it's again more horizontal. Oh, you what? He's one of your favorite ones. Awesome. So let's go to the other side. And first off here we have Will Smith. Uh, Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Now, this is a story all about how my life got turned upside down. <laughs> Liars are very hard. I know it's on my way. Yeah, exactly, Free J. And that's with maxi fix. So your maxi fix are still a bit more straight angled, I could say. You know what I mean? But with faces, actual faces, you see you have way more organic forms. And that's really hard to capture well because you can see all the corners over there has huh? so the sharp corners so you have to make that it when you look at it from a small distance that it looks like an actual face the earring wait which earring oh there the earring that's a uh, lego diamond you see what so that's uh, a lego diamond 
your stomach took over. <laughs> Jenny, Jenny, I can totally relate. That happens to me all the time at night, but that's mostly because you are awake longer than normal. And then you start getting hungry. That's your body that needs the extra calories to stay awake. But that's the reason. Oh, don't worry about it. You made the world right choice. Enjoy the numbs. <laughs> yeah, it's just a normal diamond, uh, Iwo. It's nothing really special, but still. The trick is always to use the correct parts to do certain things. Like, uh, for instance, the eyes there. You can see it's... Um, how do you call it? That bracket that you have at the back of minifigs. So that you use the bracket with something white behind it to get the pupil of the eyes. Very smart way of doing it. And that's always the trick, finding the right part to do something. So on the next one that we see here is uh, Jackie Chan. You woke up at 1.45 a.m. Oh, well, Jenny, perfect. Then you are now fully awake. You've had your coffees and everything. So now you're doing your breakfast. <laughs> but yeah, so this is Jackie Chan. As you can see. Also one of the more famous ones. And here he tried to use more the rounded, the slopes, as you can see. So this is more uh, an essay with slopes. Uh, the teeth here? No, it's the lips that are slopes, as you can see and the cheeks and a bit in the nose there are also a bit of slopes used and you see in the uh, eyebrow you even used one uh, clip there just to get enough detail enough definition you were awake until 6 a.m uh, fell asleep and awake at 9 20 a.m oh my god Ewo, so you haven't slept at all ah jenny that will be later you couldn't sleep well i know the feeling you won't you know me, I don't sleep a lot either. <laughs> but yeah, so here it's more slopes used. And we see that in the next bust as well. So this is Sandra Bullock. Yes, that's true, Abraf. So these busts are actually, well, it's over the years. So some are newer than others, but most of them are at least five years old, some even 20 years old. Uh, so some of these are indeed 20 years old. So, but it's over the years that Dirk has built several busts. So here's Sandra Bullock. And with the piercing in the ear without an earring. Small little details, but that is something that Dirk always do. Always does. Lo lots of details. And here as well, what you see here is one of the things that people sometimes forget. So they say, okay, we have the mouth, the nose, the eyes. So we have all the important parts of the face. But actually they forget one third of the face and that is the top. And this forehead is also very important because that defines a person as well. And then the hair, of course, the hair. Sometimes I say it's easy, but look at what Sandra Bullock. You have to have the certain waves in that hair, so. And yes, Ewot, you see George Clooney. That's the next one, indeed. Here we have George. And here we have again, this nice little play. Uh, because at one point there was a rumor that George Clooney only drank tea, which has been disproven. He drinks both coffee and tea. And Denise, hey Denise, welcome, welcome. You haven't missed a lot, Denise. So we just started. We are currently looking at the busts from this amazing exhibition. Uh, but yeah, so George Clooney and yeah, Nespresso. What else exactly? Everybody knows George Clooney for his espresso, but he also drinks tea. But at one point there was a rumor, which of course wasn't true, but that he only drank tea. And that's why Dirk made this cup here together with George Clooney with I love tea. Yeah, Poirot is the next one, Miss Maisie. And Miss Maisie, also welcome. Okay, people, for everybody that's here, I'm going to do this only once because I don't have my si soundboard with me. So, aha! <laughs> welcome all, welcome, welcome, welcome. Pew! So yeah, but George Clooney, again, very well captured. Also the hair, so the different shades of gray in there. This one, I think, is very well done. It completely captures his face. And it's not the last time we see George Clooney. We will see him later on again. Oh, Jenny, thank you for the biddies. No worries, you can always rewatch later. 
I didn't hear the difference in the aha. Uh -huh. Hey, cool. <laughs> now, FreeJ Tower and everything is disabled at the moment. Um, to, so that I can reach it, because if I have the bot with all the commands with tower and blind build and so on, I cannot follow chat. I've seen that in previous live ones, and that's why I turned it off, so that it's easier for me to follow chat. Okay, Jenny, enjoy the lurk. Well, enjoy the sleepies. <laughs> so, and indeed, like Miss Maisie said, no, he won't even redeem us off. <laughs> By the way, one hand is permanent at the moment. <laughs> So this is Hercule Poirot, uh, the famous uh, Belgian detective with his typical glasses, his strange hair. But it's so well done. Look at that. And also the glasses. As you can see, that's with flex tube. So he did some flex tube, attached it. And that's the part where he always grabs it. Again, very nicely done. And again, the eyes, as you can see, the pupils, you can see it. Again, with that bracket with the white behind. I liked it. Oh no, that, that's actually, that's a headlight. That's a washing machine brick. A headlight with a white bar in it or something. Ah, okay. No, free J, not today. <laughs> so, well, you can always do a song request, but it doesn't work. It's turned off. And Cindy is not at home, so that's why I turned it off. Because last time she enjoyed the music that you requested. Absolutely, but she's not home today, so. <laughs> Thanks, free J. And yes, the last bus that we see here is Hagrid. And okay, let's look at it from a distance. So we have Hagrid, very well done. But if we look closer, check the hair. <gasps> it's all spiders! Oh my god! Spiders everywhere! Because, as you know, Hagrid loves spiders. So that's why everywhere in the hair you have all these little bitty spiders. Oh my god, such a cool little detail. <laughs> Everything is awesome! Everything is cool when you're part of a team. Everything is awesome. Okay, that was my musical stylings. <laughs> your jaw just hit your lap. <laughs> so cool. I know it's it is amazing. <laughs> you got a lot of you in the spirit in these spiders. That's true. Yeah, and it adds texture, so it gives it a bit more of the look of hair. But when you go up close, it is so amazing. And look at the eyebrows also. So the eyebrows are made with roller skates. I don't know if you can see this, but let's go from the side. So the eyebrows are made with roller skates. Very cool, just to give it that extra bit of definition. And then of course here, when you come in, we have the paparazzi welcoming you on the red carpet. Yeah, you can see the flashes. I would burn myself if there were that much spiders on my hair. <laughs> well, okay, I can imagine that he vote, absolutely. So, paparazzi. So I should actually be next to these guys, huh? waiting here. Okay, people, come on in, come on in. We're just taking pictures, nothing going on, nothing going on. Is Paro's eyebrows also rolls? I don't think so, let's have a look, let's have a look. Just to be sure, I think those were, oh yeah, they're also roller skates. You are right, he was. oh no, wait. Are those roller skates or something else? No, that's something else. Um, that's those um, pieces, one by two with those two teeth on it. I don't know if you know what I mean. Let's see if I can show it from the top. So th these are a bit different, these eyebrows. Once again, and look, even the eyelashes are done. Maybe from the side you can see it better, but he even has eyelashes. <laughs> How cool is that? And by the way, people, yeah, I know, Jenny. By the way, people, now we are going to go in the next room. The next room is the room of the artists. I hope you're sitting down. You need, to, you need to sit down for what I'm going to show you now. 
No, no worries, Miss Maisie, no worries. If there's anything that you guys want to see more in detail or so, just shout out in the chat and we'll go there. <laughs> Thanks, Ivo. Okay, people. Are you ready for this? Because uh, make sure you sit down. Don't fall off your chair. Bam. So this is Pieter Paul Rubens. But it is renamed to the Magi. And why is that? Because a lot of the heads are replaced by famous people. So we have Einstein, Leonardo DiCaprio. Let's have a look at which are the names that I'm lying down. <laughs> Just fell from your chair. So the people that are in here, so the adoration of the Maggie. Yeah? So the original, the Lego is 480 at 360. So that is huge. And we have characters in here. We have Albert Einstein, Martin Luther King, Erasmus, Gandhi, Socrates, many others. 500 hours and 300,000 pieces. Check the back of Hagrid's head. Ooh, that's a good idea. We'll go there in just a sec. Now the diamond, I will come there. That's later on, 500 hours. But look at the pieces. So these are all regular pieces. So there's nothing special. But then you step back. And then you get, it's huge. It's absolutely huge. And can anybody find all the people? So over there we have Gandhi, we have Einstein, Socrates. And <laughs> Parky would take like 50,000 hours, probably. So your pose on Facebook, and I was like, okay, great, I need to tune in. And then I forgot, and I missed getting, ah! Okay, so yeah, especially for you and for the people that just asked it. Uh, we get back just a minute to Hagrid's face so that uh, you can see it. So, Julia, what you have missed so far is not that much, but it's all the busts over here. That's yeah, so of all the famous people. And we are going to examine the back of Hagrid's head for just a sec. Somebody in chat asked that, and well, we do that. So, yeah, here you have the back. Oh, now I see why I needed to check the back. Look at that. Oh my god, that is so cool! So there we have the face of Dirk in the back of Hagrid's head. <laughs> that is so cute! Oh my god, I didn't, I hadn't even seen this, so that is... And Jill! Hey Jill! No, it's, it's actually Dirk, it's actually Dirk. So Dirk de Noël, he's... That's good, you can also see here. The other side you see. Ja? Nee, nee, dat is Hagrid van uh, Harry Potter. En dat is Dirk, dat is de designer. I was just talking to some people here, so. Uh, that's my hiding space. Dat is een soort Dutch. Ja, yeah, yeah, sometimes you need to speak Dutch. But yeah, so here we have this amazing piece, which is. Oh, I want this in my home, actually. I cannot put it anywhere, but I want this in my home. But then we have other things. So here we have, for instance, Vincent van Gogh. Again, if we go up close, you can see this is made again with regular bricks, regular plates, actually. But Dirk, knowing Dirk, he always tries to bring some humor in there. It's never till when spiders. This is until the 22nd of July. If you want tickets for it below uh, the stream, there's a link to buy tickets at a reduced price. So normally it's 15 euros. If you use the link that I have below the stream, it's 12 euros. So that's a small gift that Dirk gave to all the people that are watching. So nice of him. Thank you. <laughs> uh, it's in the back of Hagrid's head because Dirk voice. Yeah, that's right, Rex. Indeed. So uh, Dirk, Dirk Donoyel. I don't know if you people know this. So Dirk from Amazing. He's also a voice actor. That's actually how he started his career with voice acting with being comedian. So he did comedian and he did voice acting. And for Harry Potter, for the Dutch version, he did the voice of Hagrid. Well, for the Belgian version at least, because Dutch and Belgian is a bit different. So, yeah. But yeah, Rex, thank you so much for that. And an official call, Flash! Hey, Flash! Yeah, uh, Spiders, absolutely, I can recommend, because there's also a lot to do here. We'll see that later on, but... Oh. but yeah, so, Vincent van Gogh, and we know 
uh, Vincent van Gogh is famous for cutting off his ear. So what we see here is his hand holding his ear when it was cut off in 3D. It's such cheeky to put next to the painting. You have the cut off ear and then at the bottom you have his color palette from the painter. Yeah, that's true, Voldemort as well, indeed. He did uh, the voice of Voldemort as well. But Dirk, he can do a lot of voices. We will ask to do a few of them when we are interviewing him later on. Oh, no worries, Flash, no worries. You can always catch it later. It's left to steal. Well, there's a lot here that you could steal. Oh, and look, if you want to take a picture. Very cheeky. So very nicely built, a bit of 3D. Bye, Jenny! Have a good rest. And here we have a painting, again, very famous painting, and this is from uh, Triplet. Uh, the judges, the... Oh, I don't know how you say it in English, but this is a triplet. But there is, again, something cheeky here. Because Dirk wanted to include an actual judge, but no judge are famous enough. So what did he do? Here at the bottom you can see and now with the World Cup even better, it's actually a referee from a soccer game that is included in this painting, <laughs> which is so cool. <laughs> Steal the picture side. <laughs> the just judges, exactly, Juliet. Thank you so much. That's it. I know it in Dutch, but I couldn't come up with it in uh, English. So this is indeed one part of the just judges and that's why you have there that referee that is from a soccer game actually. So next up we have a painting from Asher, uh, also a famous artist and this is where we have the fish that becomes the bird. Look at that, it's, it's a play on the eye and how it works. So at the bottom you have the fishes. Yeah, Free J, that's the Rechtvaardige Directors, the Just Judges, uh, that one over there, but then with a referee, a foot soccer referee in there as well. And here, that is from Asher, so the fishes and the birds. But again, it wouldn't be Dirk if he only did this painting. So he added an actual cat that's holding up his paw to catch the fish, and it already has eaten the fish, as you can see here. Oh no, it has eaten the fish. No! <laughs> Look at this. Look at the kitty cat. Look at the cute kitty cat. Aww. And also something that we will see everywhere there, everywhere dinos hidden. That's from a set that he designed. But yeah, look. Oh. That's the reason of the missing fish in the painting. Exactly. So here at the bottom, in case you missed it. So here is a fish missing. And that's the one that has been eaten by the cat at the floor. And then here, oh my god, uh, the referee even looks like it's photoshopped in <laughs> indeed he won't. You got the new Lego poly backflash, oh that's so cool. Lego City, with 30 years already for just, just yeah exactly Free J, that's true. It's Salvador Dali, ah. Oh. Gorgeous, and then indeed with his famous mustache, and then the girl there on the swing. Oh yeah, and people, if I miss something in chat, uh, just repeat it because I only see a few lines of chat at the moment because I'm on mobile. Keep that in mind. So don't ever think that I'm ignoring you. If I miss a message that you post, just post it again. But give me a few minutes also to respond, of course. And then the next one is also very cool. So here are two paintings. This is the first one, and we'll see the second one in a minute. And there is something with Rubens. When he paints people... And <laughs> Parky is ignoring you. <laughs> oh, there are 10 dino hidden in the expo. Try to find them all. Ooh, okay. So people, we have already found one. <laughs> okay, now I need to watch out for that even. So uh, they are always looking at something. And Dirk was like, well, at what are they looking? And he made two pieces for an exhibition in Antwerp. And Antwerp, you might not know it, or you might know it. 
is connected to the diamond sector and to Shanghai somewhere. They uh, have a sister route or something. So in here, so he incorporated the diamond in this painting. So that guy is looking at actually something this time. He's looking at the diamond. And that is because it was in Antwerp with the diamond sector. And then over there we have the second one. Also famous painting. And here he's looking at Shanghai Tower. If you know the latest architecture set from Lego, and the Shanghai Tower, well, here it is in the painting. Yeah, the diamond is really well done, you out indeed. Oh, and here, now uh, you can put your head through it. Oh, like, eh, eh, let's see if I can do it. <laughs> uh, if you want to be the Mona Lisa. And here's another one, and over there you can be. Uh, uh, let's see what you can be here. Oh, the scream! Uh, so you can uh, be part of the scream. Yeah. So this is also things, there are a lot of interactive things here in this exhibition, which makes it even better. Okay, so we've seen this side of the artist gallery, but we haven't seen the other side yet, because there is more, yes. The plates around the whole are, Julien, what do you mean? Where? No, 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 no. Oh yeah, that plate is cut. <laughs> Blasphemy, ah, oh, stop it. I cut my Lego as well sometimes. Yes, I do. <laughs> so this one is actually Jan Fabre, uh, the bug. Jan Fabre is also a famous artist. But what is really cute here is that you see his face in there with a cigarette in his mouth. So everybody that knows Jan Fabre knows he's always smoking, always. So he made the face in there with the cigarette sticking out. Very cool. Spire my mobile internet and battery a lot more hours to go before reaching England by both of them. Okay, spiders, have a good trip to England. And well, you can watch the VOD afterwards always. Big, big beetle. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, Flash? Well, how am I funny? I'm being completely serious here. What are you talking about? I'm serious. If I'm funny, you will know. I think. <laughs> Julien, absolutely. Uh, I can only recommend it. I can highly recommend it. Also, uh, Julien, you might have missed it, but below the stream or in the info if you're on mobile, there is a link to order uh, your tickets at a reduced price. So Dirk was so friendly, so everybody that's watching the stream can get tickets at a reduced price. So just so you know. So if you want to come, be sure to check it out. Uh, this is the Matterhorn in Switzerland. And what is nice here, so this is a beautiful painting, but what is nice, this is a bit of 3D. See? So the light tower here is in 3D. Then we have the reflection in the water and that's flat. Very nice. <laughs> Love is funny. <laughs> Uh, I'll think, I'll, uh, I think about going there myself. Okay, spiders, no worries. And see you later, man. Have a good one in England. Enjoy Legoland. Okay. We move on a bit. <coughs> Excuse me. It's plastic. <laughs> oh. And fan. Hey, fan. Also something that's nice to know here. This is a bench that was made with Lego as well, as you can see here. The metal structure that you see here originally was not there. So originally it was without the metal structure, but they added the metal structure because here at the exhibition it needs to be a bit more solid than normal. But normally this bench is absolutely without just Lego and then the wooden tablet. And that was made together with an interior designer. So very cool. jump here to break actually the designer has posted the video on facebook showing him jumping on this thing without the metal inserted so <laughs> oh you're working fan no worries but thank you for stopping by it's very much appreciated as you know so and this painting here is well i call them paintings because that's what they are they are paintings let's be honest and this is of a pool player it's a friend of dirk 
Uh, but we have an aquarium at the bottom. As you can see, so he's playing with fish. And all, again, a part of it is in 3D. So one fish is in 3D and the rest is flat. And here he used the technique of the plates, just studs on top. Is that a blowfish? Uh, I read which fish it was, but I don't remember by heart anymore. It was a certain fish. But it's a typical technique for the spheres. How spheres are made. He's about to hunt puffer, naughty. <laughs> it's a blowfish. So what will happen probably is once he hit the fish, it will blow up. <laughs> Owen, hey Owen, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Again, we are not done yet with Artist Valley because here we have a work in progress. It's not finished yet. And this is dirt. This is a self-portrait of dirt, but it's still being painted. As you can see here, so there's a guy here on the ladder painting the brick painting. Playing poo. Exactly, Julia, you, have, you got it. With all the Lego. <laughs> Owen. I like the way you think. I was thinking that actually myself as well. Just take a few things. Uh, for instance, that big one over there. Uh, the four meter, the five meter tall painting, Lego painting. Shall I take that one with me? Yeah. <laughs> it's a pool table. Exactly cut. <laughs> Spheres are made in motion. That is your... Uh, oh my god, emote. <laughs> okay, fans. See you later. <laughs> And here we have uh, the QR code. If somebody wants to scan it, feel free to do so. It will lead you directly to the site of Amazings. But just a QR code is a bit boring, so they made an interwined frames around it, as you can see. Yeah, exactly, Julia. That's something that Dirk and his employees love a lot. They do that a lot of times, mixing the 2D and the 3D together. So here as well, so this is a bit of 3D. Eh? It's the illusion of interwined frames, which is very well done, very well executed. And here, what you think is a shade, it's actually just Lego bricks. See, great Lego bricks. But when you look at it from a distance, it becomes a shade and it looks as if that one goes really over the other one. Although in reality, it's just, it's flat, it's completely flat. So that's so well done. You get the illusion of 3D, but it's not 3D. Something is not right. Oh my god, Ewo, don't start with the puns. Give me two days and I will be in Belgium. We can walk off with the leg together. <laughs> okay, oh, and that's, a, that's a deal. That's a deal. <laughs> then, here we have a painting. This is an actual painting, by the way, people. So this is not Lego, but this is a painting that was recreated in Lego. So here we have the recreation of that painting over there. Keep it in mind. Now you see here the Lego version. Can you tell the difference? Well, besides the fact that you see that it's Lego studs. This is so well executed. So the water, the puddles, the feet over there, the shade of the person. Yeah, so, because over there you see that's a person, the shade of a person there in the water. We have that here as well. And what we have actually here is a painter. So you can see he is painting there. And what is he painting? Over there, you can see he's making that painting of Einstein. So he's, instead of painting, in this case, he's putting the bricks on top. So he's recreating that <laughs> Lego painting of this. It's so clever. I love this part. This is done so clever. I mean, so we have this painting here. Eh? So with the shade of the painter, eh? the feet over there. Then we have the hand over there, recreating an actual Lego painting in Lego. <sighs> oh, oh, and what did I do to my arm? I had a fierce battle with a barbecue. <laughs> well, I tripped over a barbecue. I fell down in Canada. And so I broke my arm. And well, there you have it. Blue shirt, Bob Ross, maybe. <laughs> Painception, exactly. It, this is complete painception. But uh, let's take a look at it from a bit farther, just so that you can get the complete scene. Oh, the once you see, you cannot unsee exactly emote. 
I love this one. This, I think by far is one of my absolute favorites of this whole exhibition, just because it's so clever. What he did here is amazing. Then here's another one, and that's a rainbow portrait. Look at this. So this is a portrait of a guy, rainbow colors. But what is special is, this is actually full 3D. As you can see all the different layers of colors. And each time there is just a tiny bit of offset sometimes, or even not. And when you look at it from a distance, you get a really nice rainbow colored portrait. And you see it's actually quite thick to create this. It's a painting of a painter painting a portrait, but the portrait isn't of a painter, but of a scientist and it's made of paint, but we are conditioned to think Lego. Okay, I'm making my... <laughs> was Maisie. Actually, no. The second one. So this one here is indeed an actual painting. But this one here is also made out of Lego, as you can see. So both this one and the one here are made out of Lego. That's what makes it so cool. So yeah, the rainbow hat. Next to it, we have some Lego furniture. Unfortunately, not usable because it would break if you put a, a lot of stuff in there. But this is an actual closet, an actual armoire or whatever you call it, built completely out of Lego. And like we said before, Dirk likes to use 3D and his 2D things. So here we have a bamboo forest. So these are all bamboo shoots, but one of them is in 3D. Well, actually a few of them are in 3D. So what you can see here is this one, for instance. It's already a tiny bit in 3D. And then we have this one here, the dark green one. It gets thicker and thicker and thicker and it really comes out of the painting to go over the top of the painting. So again, very cool. If you look at it like this, just like this, it looks normal, huh? normal painting. Then you look at it a bit further and then you see the shoot coming out of the painting. Can you open it? No, Abra, unfortunately not. Because uh, I think they would kill me if I did that. <laughs> but it is, normally you can open it, but I'm not going to risk it because, uh, well, you know me, if I touch Lego, it tends to fall apart. I don't know why, but that happens. So uh, I'm not going to risk it. <laughs> yeah, the bamboo. It's, uh, also the colors again, very nice use of colors. And then here again, recreation of a painting. <laughs> no, Capo, <laughs> dude. <laughs> okay, Iwo, well, no worries. Oh, thank you so much. Well, I make a highlight of the interview afterwards so that you can easily rewatch it. But here again, we have a painting that was recreated in Lego over there. So in the background, we have the painting, but it was also recreated in 3D in Lego, which I think is really cool. I mean, this is, you have a 2D painting, but it's transformed to a 3D painting. How cool is that? So it started out with 2D and then 3D. Amazing, amazing, amazing. And here we have a collection of paintings that are a combination of 2D and 3D again. So the pencil itself is 2D. Okay? So this is regular plates. So in its combination of tiles and plates with studs. And then we have the person painting it, okay? who's hanging off the top here. No worries, Jenny, no worries. 5 a.m., you are insane. So this is the first one. Then we have the second pencil. And here there's something a bit more cheeky. So here they're cleaning it up. So the green line is being cleaned up by the maintenance crew. <laughs> I love those little details. And here we have the red carpet. So again, the line. And then we have a guy rolling out the red carpet. You're staying. <laughs> Jenny, you're an addict. You're an addict. And here we have, well, it's a bit dusty, but it's a banana. I mean, we always need a banana for scale, people. Remember that. Uh, and here we have it, the banana for scale. 
it has its own place in this exhibition. And that shows the absolute awesomeness of this exhibition. Banana for scale. I'm in awe. I'm in absolute awe. Okay, next up. You thought we saw all the cool stuff. No, we didn't. Here we have something where we need to find Neil Armstrong, Tia Beckman, Ludwig van Beethoven, Marie Curie, Roald Dahl. Okay, a whole lot of people. But where? Where, 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 do, where do we find them? Where is it? Where is it? Do you guys see it? Somewhere? I don't see it. Very strange. Very strange. Very, very, very... Ooh, what's that? Pew! It's on top! <gasps> there it is! This is a ceiling painting! Oh my god, look at this. Let's start stand in the middle, and then we'll just turn around. Like this. Whoa, <laughs> this is freaky. Then we have all sorts of famous people here. Let's go to the other side so that it's, so that I'm not as dizzy anymore. But once again, this is absolutely amazing. Oh, I love this. So gorgeous. What do you guys think of that one? Too fast, Parky, the world's going too fast. I want to go up. <laughs> I did it a bit slower in the end, Miss Maisie. I did it a bit slower. Okay, I'll do it very slow this time. Very slow, very slow. So here we have the first side. The second. The third side. Need it on my ceiling <laughs> indeed, Free J. I wouldn't mind having this on my ceiling either. And the fourth side. Oh, and by the way, Neil Armstrong. Yay. Yo, Neil. And just because I'm horribly mean, really quick. Whee! Whee! Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> uh, tip for the future don't do that again. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> that was freaky. Boo. Okay, so here we have one that is a very special one. Who can tell me what is special about it? And if you're from Amazing, you're not allowed to talk. <laughs> I'm very heavy, but I'm staying. Oh, Jenny, you are awesome. Free J, faster, faster. Oh no, please don't. No. But people, what is special about this painting? What is so special about this? First of all, let's have a closer look. It's just bricks, regular bricks. So nothing special about that. It's a bit 3D, okay? But what is really special about this? It has two faces, indeed, Abraf. Indeed, two faces. So you have the front facing, but also the side. So it can be seen in two ways. So you have, well, the side. Uh, you can see it a bit better this way. And then someone looking straight at you. That is so amazingly cool. I mean, how did you come up with this? I love that. It's so... Oh. Although the side face is a bit small, I will say that. But still, jeez. Can, ev can everybody see that? That it has two faces. Can you see it? So, first you have the nose there. So if you took the side face, this is the front of the head. The nose, so he's looking over there, and we have the smile there a bit, and the chin. And if you take the front face, then it's just a face cut in half, where he's looking at you. Yeah, half of the nose, the mouth. So beautiful. Well, from 12 a.m., I need to be up at 5 a.m., so <laughs> we'll catch you later. <laughs> okay, oh, <laughs> thanks a lot for joining in. And I'll, tr I'll try to take a, f a bit of Lego with me. I'll try, I'll try. <laughs> Here we have then, this was actually quite special. Uh, it was the guy that Dirk met in Billund at the airport when it was the late plane. And it was a guy who made uh, some kitchen appliances, if I'm not mistaken. 
and they were talking about the chair that he made so here we have that chair and then an arm coming out of the wall holding the chair so it doesn't fall over a bit cheeky but nice and again a little bit of 3d in there so we have the arm the hand holding the chair that's in 3d no the rest is regularly built oh so cool then we have a few windows here but what's special about these windows is the fact that it's all windows to non-existing things so for instance here this is a window well, when you have a house on the moon and not on the prairie but on the moon this is your view not bad and of course we have a small little cactus here yeah this is your view i mean not bad huh? from your uh, a living room or something have a look at the earth or here if you have a floating house you remember the cartoon up uh, so where you have the building that goes up with all the balloons so this would be your view if you're in that house that's uh, some clouds and a plane passing by Pew! again small planter here with some plants and then the last one is when, well, when the flood comes, then you're in your house and you're looking at fish. Yes, or you could say you're sleeping with a fish. Uh, uh, uh. Hey. See, I can make puns as well. I can do it sometimes. <laughs> and again, a very cool little planter. Yeah, I know. I'm crazy. I love those planters more than the rest, but... I also like how they made the windows, the, the windows itself, as you can see. Again, a bit of 3D mixed in, always in the mix. The flood comes, yeah, the flood. Here's the flood. And this is what happens then when the flood, when everything is flooded, then you see the fishes outside of your house. At least if your house is a bit waterproof. Okay, and here's a very cool one. Here's a very cool one. So what do you have in a library? In a library you have books. Hmm? And what's in those books? When you open the book... Oh look, a library. Huh? What? So instead of the books in the library, here we have a library in the book. I really love that. It's so nicely built. Very cool. Then here we have a zoo with the big aquarium here. And this aquarium actually reminds me of the aquarium in uh, the mall in Dubai, in the big mall there. There you have a big aquarium with sharks in there as well. You can even go swimming with the sharks. To control your flood puns. <laughs> so in here you can see uh, you have a banter rock, stingray, sharks. Very nicely done. So that's one part. You can see people can enter the attraction here. Then we have zebras, ostriches, and of course the hot dog sales guy. Very important. <gasps> the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. They are taking care of the little turtles. Oh, look how sweet. Little turtles. The little ones. That's the first normal mock. <laughs> well, it depends on what you define as normal because even here look at that flamingo at the top there can you see the beak the beak is actually a hand of a minifig so well done i love that one very cool then we have some sort of castle here and we have okay the pandas with the bamboo oh you hear a bear and we have some people traps oh that's food for the bears ah oh, so this is a nice uh, zoo they Sacrifice some people right, for the animals. And here you can watch the animals. Gorgeous. And here, this piece is also very nice. I have that in my bowling alley. Here you see it is actually perfect if you have a lion cage like this. Or panther cage. Let me sleep brain. <laughs> No, your brain will not allow it. Here's some skunks and oh, eagles. Or the spin cushions, how do you call them? Some oxes in here. 
we have below a roller coaster. Yes, people. There is a roller coaster here that goes around. Some very cool things. Then we have the penguin zone and the ice bears. Very cool there how we did the ice bear. As you can see over there, the ice bear that's in the water. A lot of baby dragons for decoration, indeed. Oh, and there we see another flamingo, I think, with the minifig hand as a hat. The penguins! So cute! The elephants. Then eagle. So here, this is probably with all sorts of birds. Let's have a look. Yeah. So the owls, parrots. You can see here. You need sleep. Oivar. Ah, that could be free, Jay. Maddie. Hey, Maddie. Stop flipping tables. That's not allowed here. We cannot flip the tables here. Else they would be very mad at us. <laughs> oh, and the monkeys. So this is the monkey fortress, where we have all the monkeys. And then we are back to the aquarium. And then here we have a trifecta. So we have three installations actually, and all three of them are based on dyes. So first we have the dye, the apple dye. So we have the worm going through the apple. Huh? Everywhere. I flip tables all day. <laughs> so the little worm in the apple. Then we have a uh, break of dice and what comes out? An egg. And over easy. There we go. And again, very cool. So we have the different parts laying here. So well done. And look at this egg. It's actually a very nice technique. So it's a layer technique, as you can see. <laughs> okay, Maddie, for once I will allow it. For once. Just for this time. A potato flew around my room before you came in. Oh my god, I don't want to know. And here we have the dice tree. So there's actually a tree, so we have the trunk and then the tree with all sorts of greenery. And again, it's a dice. So very cool. So we have the tree dice here, all tree, showing off something else. Very nice. And then we come to the first workshop, actually. Let me switch cameras now. Oh, first let me show you this. So there are a few signs here. Caution loose bricks. And this is, of course, made in Lego, as you can see. this. So this is fully built out of Lego. Very nicely done. I love this sign. So, yeah, caution loose bricks. So there are several workshops in this exhibition and here you can see one of them and here you can make your own mosaic so you can sit down and build the mosaic if you like and let me show you a few of them oops so let's switch cameras oops, there we go so you have for instance mario here belgian flag a lot of belgian flags maybe we are doing something wrong oh pennywise Deadpool. Some fishies. Oh, Stitch. Oh, that one's cool. I like it. And Jill from the Netherlands. Oh, who's that? Two bros sitting in a hot tub field for just then. Uh, are you allowed to touch it? The egg looks very loose. <laughs> well, actually, Abraf, it's, it's just lying on the floor, so. I had the smoke alarm, sharp, low battery warning an hour before I had to get out. Oh no, Maddie! No! Uh, some Mario. Oh, here, Mondrian. Painting. So, but yeah, so the people here can then have fun with this. Uh, build a lot of stuff themselves. So you have those big boxes there, full of Lego. Uh, you get a base plate and then it's like, just start building. And then afterwards you can hang it up here together with all the other creations. 
which is a very cool way. So here's more Lego to build with. I want a box like that. Shall I take one with me? Full yeah. Lego boxes. <laughs> and Maddie, I feel for you, man. Getting up an hour before you're supposed to get up is hard. It's, it's no fun. It's no fun. Well, okay, that was it, people. Nah, who am I joking? Not even half of it. Take them all! Take them all! Yeah, I know. So now we're going in the Golden Age. Well, the Golden Age. So here we have some constructions that he made and where he painted the Lego in gold. So we have the Golden Nightmare, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so we have the Golden Horse with the moon. Then the Golden Snitch with the face of Harry Potter in the snitch. Again, very well done. See the use of some cheese slopes. And then the Golden Retriever. That's the nickname for Sherlock Holmes that we have here. Again, very nicely done. I lo always love the contrast of gold with black. So in here, this is actually, so this is painted by him. So he used a spray can, just painted everything gold. Some uh, cherries, banana, an apple, a pear. Ooh, drink up. Ooh, look! Another dino hiding. <sighs> we found another dino. Yes! He painted it. It's not original Lego anymore. Skip it, please. Ah, brav. Oh, don't be such a purist, man. Sometimes you need to do special things to get special results. Here, friends, we have Bill Gates. This is not a Bill. <laughs> Fun. Buddy. So, yeah. Uh, Bill Gates. Uh, one fortune. In the form of a coin. How cool is that? The dino counter, two out of ten. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> By the way, uh, this is something. Maybe we should clip this for Charlie. Because I know Charlie loves coins. So, uh, this is a coin. The Bill coin. You could say. And then there we have some busts again. All in gold again. By the way, hello. <laughs> and the silence is golden. Do we have here? Uh, so, guys saying, shh. Thanks, Jenny, for the clip. Thank you so much. Silence is golden. And then the last one, that's Midas. Midas touching a chameleon. Because if you know the, the legend, Midas, everything he touches turns into gold. So we have the chameleon. But the chameleon always changes color. So it's normal for the chameleon to turn gold then. Yeah, because he adapts to this environment. That's all gold. It's a bit of play again. Oh, and look at that shiny. <gasps> shiny. Yeah, Abraf, Jenny is fast with clipping. That's true. Very shiny. Okay, now we come in the hall of the famous people. You know why it's called famous people? Hmm? Do you know why it's called, this place is called famous people? Ah, because I'm here, of course. <sighs> Come on, you, sh you should have known that, people. You should have known that. You should have known that. <laughs> so here we have, uh, I think, uh, oh, I forgot the names already. Uh, I'm good. Look at that mustache. <laughs> Very nicely done. So now we're going to see a lot of people where I forgot the name of pretty much all of them. Because I am such a pro. <coughs> do, 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 do. So if somebody knows the name of one of these, feel free to share. Oh, they're completely in grey. I love that. And look at the beard, it's made with clips. Oh, that's so well done. So clips and slopes actually there. These are slopes. I love this one. Very well executed. Oh, 
Ooh, here. It's a face. In a bird. Thingy. Bird thingy. <laughs> again. Oh, so well done. And again, I love how they did the eyes. This is a technique I need to remember this. And with the headlight and then just a white pin in it. Excellent technique. And then we have the multiple faces of uh, Michael Jackson. And this is not beat it, but this is bleach it. Just bleach it, bleach it, bleach it, bleach it. Nobody wants to be this way. Oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm horrible at singing. The Hulk. Indeed, that is the Hulk. So, Michael Jackson first stage, second stage and third stage. You can see the differences and even the face, how it changes, is actually very well done. No, it's not labeled. But I have a booklet where I have all the names in, but I forgot to take it with me on this tour. <clears throat> yeah, I know. Sorry about that. <laughs> And these, actually, these three busts have been used in one of Dirk's shows. So these are actually quite old, which is very cool. Then we have some uh, famous people from Belgium. From him, I forgot the name, of course. But there we have Frank de Bozere. He's a weather guy, so he predicts the weather. And once again, here it's just plates and bricks. It's a combination of plates and bricks. Studs on top. And here this is actually, this is Belgium. So the shape that you see here is the shape of the country Belgium. And we have uh, from Bruges, the cathedral, or well, it's not really cathedral. I don't know in English, the Antwerp cathedral. We have French fries. We have part of the atomium, uh, our big bowls. Uh, Waterloo, the lion uh, that uh, recommends from Napoleon when he was defeated. Uh, we have some chocolate. Uh, we have the city of the books. So some very cool things. And beer, of course. Mark from FC the Camp. Ah, okay, Free J. Thanks. Hmm, good to know. So, but yeah, so this represents Belgium and a few of its landmarks. So very cool. Another bust. And again, I love the beard that it's always done with clips. Because that really gives a definition when you look from a bit of distance. Very nice. Oh, and here. Uh, anybody knows Castle or Firefly? will know him. And this one is also very cheekily done. So if you look from the other side. Hello. Very cool. So an accordion with two ways of looking at it very nice mm, I love this one I always like it when you can see it from two directions that is something that is a very cool oh here Elton John with his famous colored glasses yeah, and the piano And then we have Ed Sheeran. I'm gonna build a Lego house. No, 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 no. You wish you were that great. Yeah, Maddie, this, this is okay. If you remember, this is from a professional. So he, he lifts Lego. It's all he does. Well, he also does public speaking, but still. And he has a team, so he's not alone. So yeah, pretty much. Wow, let's be honest. So here we have Ed Sheeran. This was actually also presented to him and he loved it. Uh, oh my God, I forgot the name. Completely forgot the name of this one. Here, uh, Vincent from Quickenborn, a politician. Mr. Q. Oh, um, the famous uh, bicyclist, uh, come on. Uh, oh, I'm horrible with names. The new day, I'm not sure it's still creativity. Make a pick, put it in the program, give it. 
Well, Arav, if it was that easy, then everybody could do it. Point is, it's not that easy. Because most programs are... Uh, no, it's not Sven. It's Cavendish. Cavendish. That's it. Cavendish. Ah, I knew it. I knew the name. So, Cavendish. Prince Laurent. So, uh, one of the princes of Belgium. Hello, Mr. Prince. And then here we have a gorgeous display that's from four sides. And on the inside we have something. So let's start with the outsides. So here we have, of course, the Godfather. Followed by someone whose name I forgot again. <laughs> and here we have, I think it's Putin, but no, it's not Putin. No, it's somebody else. Mm, I don't know. Probably also something from that day. And here we have John F. Kennedy. And what do all these people have in common, apparently? We'll see that in a second. And that is... Look behind the face. That is Marlon Monroe. See? Yeah, with the skirt blowing up. The Godfather Marlon Brandon, exactly. That's it, 3J. Thank you. So, but all these four faces somehow has something to do with, oh, come on, has something to do with Marilyn Monroe. Oh, there she is again. Look at how well she's built. <laughs> and with the lips and everything, very well done. Love it. And then here we have a really big display. And in this display, there are a whole bunch of songs in there. Tears of a Clown, a Bicycle Race, Great Balls of Fire, a Lonesome Cowboy, Lego House, and so on. So let's see if we can find a few. So first of all, we of course see the Beatles, yeah, Abbey Road, Crossing. Here we have Jerry Lee Lewis, Great Balls of Fire. Yeah, this is, a, this is one of the normal ones. Oh, and there? You see that horse? That is een paard in de gang. It's a carnival song uh, from the Netherlands. So yeah, that's that one. Uh, bicycle race. I don't know that one. Or that one. Oh, that's breakdance. And here we have the yellow submarine. <laughs> Very cheeky. Well, yeah, this is the normal one. Then uh, ghosts. That's also something song with ghosts. Let's go to the other side because this is the normal side. And then we come here. And here we have the inside. Which is a bit bigger. It's bigger on the inside. And what's cool? There is something playing. That's actually a song. And that is dirt together with someone else that is performing there. So and that's on that screen over there. So you have all the people in attendance watching. By the way, has anybody seen a dinosaur here somewhere? Hmm. I don't think so. There's also another very cool thing here. So we've seen already one workshop, but we also have a TV studio here. So normally I would be here. So what you can do here is you can record your own news. So what you do is you sit down here. So then you have microphones here, some fake and one real. You select what you want as a background. Uh, let's see. Oh. The, oh. I'm trying something here, people. I don't know if it works. Oh, now we have the background. Now I need to record something. Ladies and gentlemen, the invasion has begun. Please don't be afraid. It's just some stormtroopers. Just confront them, they will miss, they will not hit you. Be sure of that. So you can record something here and then 
you can send it to your Facebook and share it and the people with the most likes they get a prize so very cool oh what do you know so a lot of interactivity here as well so it's not just showing off these amazing builds it's also a lot of interactivity and here another chair to sit down with some lego oh here we have some more famous people let's switch cameras again Maxima and Willem Alexander yeah, so the royal royals from the Netherlands that we see here and as you can see they're both thinking about Lego what else what else well, let's be honest here they are again but now in 3d some of the crown jewels oh and here we have Prince Philippe and Mathilde so these are the royals from Belgium and so fused together the heads so one side we have Mathilde the other side we have Philippe and there we have the uncle of Mathilde and he uh, is a ge he breeds geese so he has a goose on his head very cheeky what sign does a goose make? I don't know uh, the old king King Albert the first king of Belgium I'm guessing it's someone from the Roman Empire this one yeah I know it's King Philip uh, you're right Free J it used to be a prince but honk 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 something like that was amazing uh, could be could be now with the laurels around his head Bertensio Charles Michel I think so Belgian politicians but more characters than the real thing you could say so Wilfried Martens over there oh and here Hivo Hofstadt if you know the EU oh Louis Tubac yeah that's right yeah that one is Louis Tubac now that you mention it the Emperor of Louvain of course yeah now I get it now I get it so here we have Guy Verhofstadt he's from the EU huh? and they are still making his brain he's missing it sometimes <laughs> and then Elio Di Rupo <laughs> I love it how he made it it's a complete caricature but still very recognizable well there are some other things that Belgium is known for in Belgium we have a very active comic scene so a lot of comics that you know originate from Belgium uh, and here we have some examples so we have Jommeke ah, this is Jommeke typical hairstyle and his trusty buddy Flip the parrot and in the parrots in the wing you can see the face of the maker very cool Suskin and Wiske. I have no clue how it is in English. Spirou or something? I don't know. And Kabouter Plop. Plopper de plopper de plop. Yeah, these are all. Uh, this is from a children's show in Belgium. And these are comics from Belgium. But here's one that you will probably know, Maddie. That's Lucky Luke. Guy who shoots faster than his shadow. So again, very cool mosaic. If you go closer, again, so this is studs on top. Well, studs to the side, you could say. And then you zoom out and you get the complete result, which is pretty awesome. Then we have another famous Belgian family. That's the Kikaboos. This is also a comic book. I don't know if it's already international or not. But in Belgium, it's quite known. <laughs> Mali! Oh my god, you don't know any. How is that possible? Well, we will get to a few of the things that you know in just a second, don't worry. Because there's still a lot more to see. 
And here we come to another workshop that you can see here. So again, a lot of people building. And here you can build your own dinosaur. So here we see some examples, people building dinosaurs. And there are three categories. So it's uh, up until which, where is it? Younger than seven, from seven till 13, and then 13 and older. So everybody can build some dinosaurs here. And then, uh, well, the best ones, they win something. How cool is that? Then the first thing that we see here is this cat. This is actually also the logo for this exhibition. Oh, see, okay, there you go, Abraf. Lucky look, at least that's something. Yeah, most of the comics are typical for Belgium. That's true. This cat, look at how nice this is built. With some golden bricks, and these are not painted bricks, Abraf. These are original Lego. And the eyes. Look at the eyes. Be afraid, be very afraid. <laughs> Oops. <clears throat> Let me quickly fix my camera again. There we go. 2020 find on the dinosaur. <laughs> yeah, we found them all now. <laughs> Those can just have the list. <laughs> oh, buddy. Just like normal gold. Exactly, Abra. This is normal gold. So here we have the spring con. Uh, how is this called in English? The. Oh my god. Help me out here. How do you call this animal? You have the hair and the... Ah, I forgot. Well, you know what I mean. So this is the industrious one, the grasshopper. Exactly, grasshopper. Mr. Grasshopper. Yeah, very well done. And then we have the frog, frog prince. And you can see there's, an, there's a bird in his mouth. And this actually comes from a song in Dutch that we always sing. Um, the Oever van de Dijlen. And yeah, so this is based on that children's song. As you can see, all children's songs here are very bloody. Sorry about that. <laughs> and it's so well done. Look at it. Oh, I loved it. And again, uh, very few details. So these flowers just to give a bit of more different color in there. Very nice. Okay, time for some more paintings. So here we have one that's actually someone who works at Amazons, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, what's, what, Dino, Dino? Where, where, where's the Dino? Where, Dino? 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 Where, 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 where was it hiding? Oh! Dino! We found one! Yay! Three out of ten. <laughs> oh, I'm bad at this. <laughs> Thanks, Abraf. Thanks for noticing. So here, again, a very cool painting. What is special about this painting? Who sees it? There is something special about this. Who can tell me what it is? Okay, small tip, bear in his hair, exactly. That's it, Abraf. So in the hair, you have the image of a bear. Very nicely done. And this is all done with blades again and some bricks. And there is, so you have the regular painting and then you have the hair that's just one stud wider, as you can see. I know this is absolutely cool. Absolutely. And then here we have the cow. But what is special about the cow? It's again, there you see the face of Dirk, Dirk de Noël. And if I'm not mistaken, this was the cover of one of the CDs that he produced at one point, which was an absolute flop, but okay, let's not talk about that. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, we have the cow here and then the face of him. Very nice, very well done. And here again, the little mole. A lot of people might know him from a cartoon. And then in the belly, you see the face of the creator of the mole. A 
It's so cute. Look at the red nose. Hello. Such cutie. Oh, near the back side of the dog that we saw on the other side. Or we saw the front side. Sleeping with the fishes. Again, in 3D. Very nice. And here again, you see the slices. So it's side layered instead of top layered. This one as well. Here. Monkey. Okay. Coming out of the panel. Somebody stepping out of the panel. Very cool. Oh, and here we have again a combination of 2D and 3D. So this is a painting about uh, on sea life. And then we have here this bird coming out of the painting. So it's literally flying out of the painting. And then you have the bird here on actual columns. So a perfect combination again of 2D and 3D. And look at the different colors used. Just to get that old feeling. And if you look at them from a distance, you can really see it. So nice. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, the seagull, that's it. And Marlies, yeah, I know. And hey, Marlies. Aha! Hey, Marlies. <laughs> so, yeah, seagull. So, we have here. I love how this is the combination. This is something I wouldn't mind having at home. So, you have these pillars here with the seagull on it. And then you have the actual painting with the seagull coming out of it. Which is. Oh! Love it, love it, love it. Here we have some uh, fishes. Swimming, I don't know, in space? What? Hmm. If I hear them, it's holiday for me. Ah! You always go to the sea, Abraf. Ah, that's cool. Are you a sea person hmm, that you always go to there for your holiday? Oh, in here. Oh, gorgeous painting. Look at this. Ah, cool. I love this painting. And again, it's, this is again, studs on top. Ah, so you have the visible studs, but still, and if you look at it up close, you can see it's a real mix of all different colors. If you take a step back, you can see. Come on, do my do. Come on, get back door, so that's no problem. You can see how beautiful it is. It really shows the evening of someone standing at the sea. Oh, yeah, bro. Whales in space. That's what I was thinking as well, because I think the top is the earth. Here, again, for children, they can put their face in there. Here we have something that is very cool. This is a new concept for them. It's a cactus, but with faces in there. So this is from Bonanza. Ah, I don't know the song. I'm going to try. And the idea here is actually that you can make your own tree of your family. Yeah, so you start at the top, go down to different dino again. Wait, what? I, where did I miss the dino? Help me out here, guys. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Dino, dino, dino. Okay, dino, dino. Where, where is the dino? Where is the dino? Where is it? I am. Oh, there it is on top. Yeah. How much do we have so far? Five, I think. Dino. We found another one. Hooray. Oh, and here also the cactus. Look at the pins here. All different colors. And to give it a bit of difference. Four. Only four. No, no, it's four out of ten. I don't know why Free J is saying 20. It's four out of ten. 
yeah. So, and the thought behind this is actually, you can order one of these and have your own family faces in there. If you want, huh? if you want. Here, another painting. And I keep calling them paintings because they are absolutely so stunningly beautiful. And if you want, you can build a bit here. And there, again, places where people can put their head in. A uh, euro bill, 50 euros. Anybody want 50 euros? I mean, you can just take it with you. Oh, Mount Rushmore over there. So this is Mount Rushmore from in Washington. You can order them how much. Uh, Abraf, when I'm doing the interview, so the interview will be in about 30 minutes. Uh, remind me again and I will ask Dirk how much it is for a cactus like that if you want this at home with the faces in there uh, but it will cost quite a penny I can tell you already Ooh. let's do a quick Mount Rushmore I'm going to try something I don't know if it's going to work <laughs> okay 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 Can you see? Okay, I cannot go far enough with the camera. Ah, too bad. <laughs> it was worth trying. It was worth trying. Frije, I think more than 4,000. A lot more. Yeah, so this is Mount Rushmore that you can see here. Very nicely done again. But Frije, if, it, if you can get it for 4,000 euros, that would surprise me. Because that would be quite cheap. Because there are a lot of bricks in there. Oh, and here is a classic. It's this one. So, if we look from this side, we see the monkey. And then we go to the other side. And the monkey is gone. <gasps> ah, there we go. <laughs> 25 <laughs> Stefan, oh my god. By the way, Stefan, thank, uh, I got the bricks. Thank you for that. Uh, Bjorn was uh, so friendly to give them to me and it's fun why are you not here I was looking for you <laughs> oh if you want to walk over fire like somebody is doing here As you can see there's some LED lights in there so uh oh People actually walking over Lego. They're insane. See, walking over Lego. Why? Why would you do that? <laughs> no worries, the fun. <laughs> Just that I won't buy it for the next year. <laughs> that looks like your bedroom floor. <laughs> I can't imagine. But yeah. Oh, and here is the front of the dog. We saw earlier, eh? we saw the back side and the other side. Here's the front. Let's have a look at this dog. It's pretty, pretty cool. Look at this doggy. Hello, woofer. Hello, fluff. Parky, try it. Uh, walking over that. I'll do it. Listen. No, I'm too heavy for that. And besides, I cannot show that on Twitch. That's self-harm. Remember? Ooh, blocks. And there are the really sharp ones in there. Not with shoes. <laughs> See, I cannot do that. It's not allowed. Not allowed by Twitch. No, 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 no. Not going to happen. Nice try, people. Nice try. Okay, a few other cool things here. Oop. First, we have Micro City. And you know, I'm a sucker for everything that's micro scale. So here we have, hey, look guys, another regular mock, a regular one. With a bit of automation, of course, but it's a regular one. So this is a micro scale city. So we have a solar park. We have the containers from Redeem Walk on Lego. <laughs> nice try, Free J. And the trains over there. The windmills that are turning. Some factories, oh, and there carnival uh, with the ferris wheel the carousel 
you can see over there. And then for the mountain, we have some carriages going up. Yeah, I love micro scale as well, Marlies. Getting in it. Don't walk on. <laughs> some skyscrapers. Oh, a helicopter also turning. As you can see, there's a lot of things happening here. The ships and the lighthouse. Yeah, I know this is absolutely awesome. And also the different colors in the water. It's very well done. And the windmills again. Now, this is something that I would love to build. This is more my style, the micro scale style. I absolutely love this. With the cars and everything. Oh, so well done. Then here we have something uh, for French fries or Belgian fries. We got, hey Fred, how are you doing? How is it going, my friend? How are you today? <laughs> no free tickets for her 3D roll if she doesn't walk on Lego. I walked on Lego Free J. You didn't say it had to be without shoes beforehand, so I walked on Lego. <laughs> You're great. Oh, I love to hear that. Excellent. That's great, Fred. So you missed out on quite a few things already, but don't worry. We are going to show you some more. Uh, we're not at the end yet. And after the interview, I will do another tour uh, of the exhibition so that the people that drop in later can see it as well. So, uh, with the french fries and the hot dogs and all the yummy stuff. And here we have something that is a combination of old and new. So these are two buildings from in Antwerp. So we have the cathedral and we have the building from a bank, KBC. And so they are combined together, as you can see here. So you have the cathedral at the bottom. And then out of the cathedral sprouts something new and that's the KBC building. I love how they did this. Well, let's uh, take a look at it from a bit of a distance that you can get a better view of it and it's absolutely gorgeous yeah so and this is not just architecture it's a combination of the two they close at 6 p.m in order to you never make this oh yes i will free jay oh awesome fred and i hope everything is going all right that's not too much troubles or things like that and here we have something that's from uh, central station so let's take a bit of a step back and so we have the central station in antwerp with the train and what is very cool with the train is again the train itself is in 3d as you can see let's look at it. so this is when you look at it from the front very nice I always love the combination of the 2D and the 3D aspect. So nice. Very cool. Oh, and now we have some room so we can look at the cathedral and the KBC tower from a bit of a distance so that you can see it completely. Very nice. Okay, then here in the middle, where we have a lot of people walking over it. Uh, what we will see here in the middle is actually a bunch of large buildings around the world, but then in clouds. So they're actually representing skyscrapers. So let's have a look at that. Oops. So first off over there, we have the Shanghai building. Oh well, no, this is a Shanghai building. This one is, uh, I forgot the name. Some pyramids. In the middle there, there's also one. Oops. And the Eiffel Tower over there. And we go to the other side. Oh, and there the Big Ben, the top of the Big Ben. <laughs> oh, a dinosaur, people. Dinosaur. We found another one. Another dinosaur. Is that five now? Or six? Five, I think. San Francisco Bridge, yeah, of course, in clouds. Is that Seattle Needle? No. Or I think so. It could be. Oh, and here, Empire State Building, of course. 
<laughs> with King Kong hanging off it. Oh, of course. And there we have something that's the beach life. Abraf, you will love this again. Uh, so, playing on the beach with a dog. Very nice. And this one, again, played studs on top. Whole bunch of colors used. In the middle is Babylon, exactly Abraf. That is right. Oh, and here? This is a special one. This was commissioned by someone from Lego Group itself. Uh, they did a trip with uh, the Volkswagen bus all over Europe. And so this is when they were loading it up. So we have a trolley here. Normally there were bags on there, but in this case, since it's from the Lego Group, there's some Duplo bricks uh, on the trolley. And then we have the camper itself, the Volkswagen camper. Again, it's one step more than the rest of the painting can see so that gives it a bit more of a effect that it jumps out of it I really like that and here we have one this is for a bit of reflection this is the beggar there's a lady head down sitting there begging for some change you can see the cup here also more in 3d Several parts here are a bit more in 3D. Also, the play of colors, very well done. I absolutely like this one. Oh, so gorgeous. And also a bit confronting. Oh, and then here, we have a castle. Oh, so nice looking castle and everything just a tiny bit of 3d in there as you can see so it's again a bit layered i always love when they do it but that's not all what the people did it's, it's actually a woman it's a woman and yeah you can give it a euro so you can put some money in there if you want so what they also did was this Remember the cheese slope technique that I used as well? So they use that here as well. So it's a combination of 3D building and cheese slopes on top to give it a bit of a different perspective. Very nice. Very cool. And I love how they did the hedges here. So if you look at really close, you see the different colors used in there. That gives it a really nice effect when you look from a distance. Mm. Love it, love it, love it. And then we come to a bit more the interactive scene. Because here we have another workshop over there, which we're going to do in a minute as well. And in that workshop, you can build your own brick and put your name on it. And then you can add your brick here to this wall or that wall over there or that wall. So this is an ever evolving wall. And well, <gasps> look there, another dino, another dino. We found another one. So and this is the amazing plaza where we are now. <laughs> Dino! And well, if you really need to go, you can go here, but well, I would advise against it. First of all, look, there are functional doors. You can open and close them. So there is some metal involved. But then we have the toilet. The toilet is not just a regular toilet. There are people in there. What? What are those people doing in the toilet? Why? And even there we have a submarine, some fish. Oh uh, yeah, so let's not go here. <laughs> what do you think? I think that's a better idea. <gasps> oh, 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 I, I need this box. I need this box. Bricks. Bricks. Oh, I need that box. And here, this is something he made for UNICEF and Mont Blanc. Because uh, Mont Blanc is supporting UNICEF, so they made this 
Florida. Sit on it. <laughs> I'll do that in a minute. I love this. It's so well done. Another. Oh, what do we have here? Let's first have the people take a picture. So here we have a little house. Look at this. A little birdie on top there. <laughs> the mountain climbers climbing the actual house. So here actually the feeling is that you are the minifig in a large city. So here we have... And I'm joined here by my very good friend, George. So, uh, hey George, how's it going? George is a little bit taller than me. I'm just a small guy compared to him. See, uh, and yeah, he's drinking this coffee, espresso. What else? Can you hear him say it? But let, let, let's let's be honest. He might, he might be taller, but does he look better than me? I don't know. I don't know. Mm. George here. <laughs> look at his face. Very well executed. With a typical smile. Nespresso, what else? Indeed. So, Kadoodles! Hey, hello! How are you doing, Kadoodles? Welcome! So, and here we have some other larger buildings. So, this is actually a toy store. Yeah, what you see here? With some toys in the window that you're supposed to be able to buy. He looks a bit edgy. <laughs> You love the birds, yeah. Oh, look at there, another very cute little bird. Very nice. And what is nice here is this is actually a work in progress. So people are constantly building here. So here we have a pizza oven. And with the rocks around it, very well done. And then a pizza. <laughs> you have the same gray in the hair, that's something. Thanks, Free J. Thank you. But yeah, so this is still a work in progress. So this is still being built. And every day a bit is added to it. So this is the plaza that keeps on changing. And there another bird. Birdie. Birdie. It's a birdie. So this is house number one. There we have number three. Number something. Number pi. Okay, that's original. Here we see again the humor that is here. So we have the number pi for this house. Love it. But a lot of birdies here. And then here in the middle we have something again. This is a fountain. On top we have some of the winners of the dino workshop. Some cool dinos. And then we have the fountain itself. Where we have some rubber duckies. Duckies! Some water lilies and oh, cute little mini penguin. Oh, and waterfalls in the fountain. So it's a combination of large and small. Uh, you have some large parts, some small parts. It's a bit of everything. Oops. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so here we have also a croc crocodile or a salamander. I'm not 100% sure see his tail on one side and then him coming out on the other side a volcano yeah, so here we have then an island and here it is also nice a dolphin but that's just by using a different colored plates and you get a very nice dolphin shape turn on the fountain <laughs> I wish I could <laughs> because I would do that although it, it would spout I think Lego bricks Shark? What is that? A shark? Oh, it's a shark. I thought it was a dolphin. Okay, my bad. Oh yeah, it's a shark. The fin is sticking out. Indeed. <laughs> Whoops. So yeah, so these people and this shark looks a bit like Sharknado. Hmm? The huge shark, their small ship, and this huge shark. Oh my God. So big. <laughs> no. 
Uh, for Twitch, actually. Yeah, here you go. Dolphin has a fin too, but it's a shark. We decided. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, people. Pew. Few more things that we're going to do. Oop. Oh, no. Well, was not a break. <laughs> the duckies are Toronto duck size. <laughs> oh, for the people that were wondering, what did we see today? Well, here you have it. So this is the exhibition. Uh, we saw the cactus over there, the fountain. Oh, the life-sized paintings, the bus when you enter, and the pencils over there. So we have all the different things here. It's also very well done. I love that. Look at it. <laughs> Okay, what that monkey is doing there, I don't know. Oh, and there's the glass with the clouds that we saw earlier. And the fountain where we are now. Oh, look, another regular mock. Who would have thought? <laughs> okay. Let's see, what else do we have here? There are a few other things. Oh. Some more building going on here and of course we have all the belgian colors i mean in case you forgot tonight belgian france <coughs> also people uh keep in mind this evening i probably won't be streaming because i don't think i will be at home in time uh just a heads up so I'll let you know if i make it before 10 then i will start stream if not then it will be friday just so you know Okay, yeah, here's some more building going on. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to build a brick ourselves. Definitely, ah, Fred. Okay, now you're my friend. <laughs> Ooh, let's see. So this is what we're going to do. Let's see, is there some bricks here to be found? We need bricks. We need bricks. Because we are going to build. Let's see. Can we find all the pieces that we need for a brick here somewhere? Somehow. Hmm. I don't know. I, I need to ask. I'm going to ask. Give me a second. Excuse me, my niece. The base plates. What have you been living here? Oh, I'm doing a good job. Okay, they were missing in action. <laughs> anyway, okay, so that will we do later on. For now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to find Dirk for the interview. So that we can do the interview. But before we do that, I'm going to take you through the shop because there is a shop here, and here you can see some of the sets that they made in the past. So currently this is one of them, keeping families close. And this is for the Ronald McDonald funds. Fred, oh. <laughs> well, I can be annoying as well sometimes. Keep that in mind. <laughs> You're amazing on the road. Built your own exhibit fan with Lego bricks. And so this is made for this exhibit and you have a printed tile in there. I might get this one. Hmm, who knows? How much is this one? 50 euros. Uh, maybe. Who knows? Uh, then here, this was for the fire brigade in Antwerp. Because they exist 200 years. So you can see here an old school way of putting out the fire. Very cool one. Yes, you can buy these. So uh, the regular sets, these are all 50 euros. So these are all 50 euros. But if you go for this one, keeping families close because it's for charity, this one is 380 euros. So this is quite expensive, but it's because you are going for charity and it has, of course, 2,700 pieces. So it's quite a big set also. But yeah, so the other ones, they are 50 euros. So we have the one from here from the fire brigade. 
then MRI. This one was for a hospital. Yeah, if you go to the MRI, this is how it looks. And then this was for uh, the Museum of Natural Science, the uh, Platyosaurus that you can get. That's this one. Also a very cool little set. Some other things that they have. You got the dino set and the fire. Oh, that's so cool, Free J. Oh, here we see the set from here, from the exhibition, with the painting and everything. Very cool. They also have some postcards. Season greetings. Hey Tiger. Ooh, that one's cool. The Hey Tiger, I like that one. And the frog. And you can get even some months, some posters. And what's more, you can even build your own minifig here. So they have a small build your own minifig. And they have some tiles there that you can get with all the different sets. So for instance, like here, like you see, we have uh, the Van Gogh, what else do we have? The chair, the pencils, so a whole bunch of things here. Oh, very cool. Very nice. No worries, Julien. <laughs> oh no, you slept so bad. No worries, no worries. Okay, now comes the trick, finding the... Oh, that's easy. I found him. Over there. <laughs> I'm just going to take a few of my things. Dun, 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 dun. <gasps> What's that? You know you're world famous now. Oh yeah. She's world famous now. She is absolutely world famous. She just, she is the amazing lady that is responsible for making sure that everything in the shop runs perfectly. And so far she does an amazing job. She does. She keeps an eye on me. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm going backstage. Sorry about that. Uh, there we go. I need to get. Put on it. 